Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I found myself at Ulta today. I was not planning on going there. Poor James needed to go to FedEx on our way home from an appointment. And I was like, Ulta! And I went in and I had this idea on the spot. I was like, there's a lot of new makeup. I haven't done a full face under $10 in a long time. So, that's what we're doing, guys. I have a bag filled with cool products. Let's look at a few of them. I am mostly gonna be using new stuff, which is so exciting. Oh, and some of it I got on sale too, you guys. Like there was a lot of buy one, get one half off. So I noticed that I was getting a few discounts here and there. Um, Ulta's a great place to kind of get points and a discount sometimes. Nothing breaking the bank here today, you guys. I think we're gonna do a really good bronzy, beautiful look. So, Let's get going. So this is just a blurring primer, but it has some pigment to it. So I'm super curious about this. They have a light shade, they have a clear shade, they have a deeper shade. Um, so I think if you're doing like serious no makeup makeup, this could be a really, really cool thing to use to kind of trick the eye, you know what I'm saying? Like you really woke up like this, but you just have like a tiny little bit of primer on with just a tiny little bit of color. That could be kind of cool, right? Hmm, actually, I don't know that I like that under foundation. I mean, I can see myself using more of it and just wearing it alone, but it is a little bit like blotchy kind of almost. I don't know, we're gonna figure this out. So I am gonna go in with one of my most favorite foundations, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and I'm gonna use the shade Bronze Beige. I'm gonna go dampen my sponge and grab something to put the foundation on. Yeah, ooh, I don't like that primer. No, 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 no. Gosh, you know, this photo focus does smell like paint thinner and it progressively, I feel over time gets kind of worse, but it makes your skin look so good that it's kind of like, get over it. I try to breathe through my mouth when I apply this. So lately I'm trying this new thing where I really, really focus on not overdoing the product on my forehead because I feel like everything gathers there, like lines and dryness right here. Like that shows up so badly on me and I just feel like it looks so much better when you don't over powder and you don't over foundation that area. Tip from me to you. Go crazy on the cheeks if you need to. I need to kind of go crazy on the cheeks sometimes because I feel like that is where I want the pigment on my face covered up, like right through here. I have a lot of old acne scarring and some sun damage. And my skin is so strange. Like if I get even like the tiniest breakout, I scar super, super easily. So it's really annoying because one little teeny tiny blemish can just be like, hi, I'm gonna be there for like years and years and years. We're gonna go in with the dual ended contour stick from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna start way up here, back here. Right now I'm trying to keep my contour um, just at the back and I almost widen it up. I'm totally having a bun day. Like it is one of those days where I just really could not be bothered. I am exhausted right now. I have been trying to pre-film my butt off because we are going on a family trip. And then I just got back from going to Seattle and seeing my family and um, going to my grandfather's memorial. It was a lot, like, oh my goodness. My nephew, Logan, um, I was like sleeping at my sister's house in the room right next to where the baby was. And I would just hear him laughing and giggling and I couldn't help myself. I was like, four hours of sleep, who cares? I'm gonna get up and play with the baby, you know? Just my tank is a little bit empty right now. So we're gonna play with makeup and not our hair. It's a bun day, that's what you do. Dry shampoo, bun. So it's really crazy. Like I'm always the one in the family to do my sister's makeup. And when I was up there last, like my younger sister, Sabrina, she sat down and she's like, can you touch up my makeup? And I'm like, sure. And I usually sit down and we'll kind of go at it. And her contour was like perfect. And I was like, you've been watching YouTube. Like you, like you did that. It's just so crazy how YouTube can just educate us all and her makeup was so good. I was so proud. I posted like the cutest picture on Instagram of all of us together. I'll probably have more pictures up by the time that this video posts, but go give it a like, go give it a little love. My sisters are the coolest. I really want them to all be on my channel like all at once. I think that would be the very, very best. That's like my goal. I just need to get them to California, all of them. 
Contour stick is a little bit tricky to blend, but it's not bad, you know? Like, this is not bad. These earrings are starting to really just get on my last nerve, so we are gonna remove the earrings until we are completely done with the face because I just, I need to get in there. All right, we are ready to crack into concealer. I have a few different shades because I really just was not sure which one I would be. I have the shade, what are you, 105? Actually, that looks pretty nice. It's not like too brightening. That's actually a great color. All right, I'm gonna stick with that. I'm using the shade 105 and that, I'm so surprised, like tapped into my skin so easily just using my finger. I can't even remember the last time that I tapped my you know, concealer in and liked it like this. I'm gonna go on the eyelids as well as my base. Dang, this is like super full coverage. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of good old Cody Airspun just underneath the eye just to set the under eye area. And I'm going to, of course, go right in and make sure I have no creases. And before I get to powdering the rest of the face, I was super curious about this. It is a liquid highlight from Ulta. And I was playing around with the testers because they had a like cute little end cap of these. And ooh, it looked so good. It's a little thick. A little thick, a little thick. That's okay. I'm gonna take my sponge and just grab it off of the back of my hand. And we're going for a very glowy, bronzy look today. So we're just gonna kind of load up the face with a lot of glow today. That is gonna be what the focus is. So I want the skin to definitely remain a little dewy. Dang, yes. All right, so now I'm gonna powder the areas that I have not placed highlight on. I'm just gonna take a velour puff and just kind of stamp the other areas that I don't wanna break apart, like around my mouth. I'm gonna go very sparingly on the forehead, go around my nose. All right, the skin is looking so nice. I am going to bronze up the face with this Catrice Sun Lover in the shade Sun Kissed Bronze, and I love this one. Holy smokes, this is good stuff right here, you guys. It is like so super affordable, and it has just the right amount of shine. You just look so healthy. It's almost like a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. It's just honestly one of the most beautiful bronzers at the drugstore that is not matte. It's baked, so you do get a little bit of a sheen going on, but it's nothing that I'm mad about. Like, I just, I like it. I mean, come on, like this is great, right? So, so pretty. Now we're gonna dig into this blush. I'm super curious about this. I always end up really loving inexpensive blushes. I don't really know why, it, they just work out for me. My favorite is the Makeup Revolution and Be Loved. That's actually in my like top shelf spot right here. But I need to find new, like I was just kind of in the mood to try something different. And I love a good coral blush. So this kind of fit what I needed with this look. And we're going to kind of bring this a little bit more forward. So my bronzer recently, I have been pulling more toward my ear and not so much at the front of my face. And then blush I am bringing toward the front. Crap, that's really pretty. Ooh. All right, now I am gonna hit my face with a little more of this hydrating rose dewy glow face mist before I go in with a powder highlight. And the highlight that I wanna go in with is from CoverGirl and this is the Super Stunner Palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. And we already have, you know, the Ulta highlight on, but this is just gonna add a little more intensity and really marry with that liquid highlight underneath. And it'll last longer when you do this trick. I am die hard loving this glow. I just feel like I could actually put on brows and do kind of the blank face, like maybe do a little lip and that would be it. And it could be really, really fresh and really pretty and pretty easy. Like you can do this really fast if you're just, you know, have everything in front of you, you're not rambling and you're just kind of getting to business. I am actually gonna do my lips before we move to eyes because to be honest, it is driving me insane to look in the mirror and see my mouth be covered by makeup and just kind of blank. I'm like, I think I kind of look crazy. So this right here is one of my longtime loves as far as an inexpensive liner. This is the shade Natural from Rimmel. 
And honestly, it's just one of those shades that works with so many different lipsticks and so many different lip looks. And now we're gonna test out this shiny lipstick from Maybelline. This is in the shade Baddest Beige, number 50. Doesn't really smell like much. Ooh, oh yes. Marc Jacobs kind of has a similar thing right now. Oh my God, yes. Oh. Get out of here. This is actually better than the Marc Jacobs one. Oh my God. I really, 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 really love that. I brought the Marc Jacobs one up to Seattle and me and my sisters were like using it. Erica broke the case. You know, I know <laughs> that you did that. Um, she like tried to twist it off and the plastic broke. I'm just teasing. Uh, she apologized for it. I'm just making a big deal. So Erica broke the case, but we were all kind of like passing it around and trying it out and everybody loved it. But I have to say, this is like even better. Like the coverage is more even, the shine is better. It's a prettier tone. Dude, save yourself 20 bucks and just get the Maybelline one, dang. So we are gonna move to eyes. First, we're gonna fill in the brows because it's necessary. I don't have a lot of brows and we need to fix that. This is very similar to the Kat Von D brow product she just brought out. This has kind of a flat square top. It's not like a rounded itty bitty tip. And I really like this. This is in the shade Espresso. So we're just gonna go in and kind of do like upward flicks to create brow-like hairs. I like the color of this. It's a little bit hard to work with. Okay, I need to be like this close to my mirror. So I will reveal brows. Oh my God, why do my brows look so uneven? All right, brows might not be my favorite. I'm super picky, you guys know that. I am a crazy person when it comes to doing my brows and I kind of have my setup of like pomade, powder, brow pencil, but we're not doing that today. I just kind of was curious to try out this brow pencil. A lot of you guys were recommending this. You said you have to try NYX and it is really good. I would just like to plow on more product with it. So moving on to eyes, I already set my eyes with that concealer from BH Cosmetics. So we're gonna go straight into a little bit of shadow. And I am actually first gonna go in with the bronzer that I used, the baked bronze, and just throw this in the crease. We're keeping the eye look super duper simple today. That is so pretty, just even that, you know, it's just like very fresh and pretty. I know I always say more is more, but there are moments where less truly is more. I'm gonna go into this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Birthday Girl and just pack this all over the lid. And then for liner, I'm gonna take this shadow from NYX. This is the shade Dance the Tides. I'm gonna take a flat brush and just go in here, grab a little bit of the shadow, and we are just going to place this as close to the lash line as we can. I'm gonna go in with my mascara right now from Essence. Dang, I love this look with no lashes on, but I really did wanna try at least one of the pair of lashes that I picked up from Ulta today. So I'm gonna pop those on and I will be right back. Lashes are on and I love them. They are so wispy and feminine and they just open the eye right up. They're not heavy. So I'm really, really loving these. The eye look is so easy, just easy as can be. Everything on the skin is working for me right now and I love that. The concealer is like a huge A plus. I am loving it. So Super, super, super great in the coverage department without adding like a thick layer. I love how I was able to kind of cancel out some of the veins on my lid with it. The highlighter that I used from Ulta, I will be reaching for that again because it just sank right into the skin in the perfect way. Like even the contour, everything, it's all looking good. I love that lipstick from Maybelline. So nice, so, so, so nice. And now we're gonna finish the look with a little more setting spray. This is the Mint Mattifying. Hope I don't choke. These are very fragrant. I mean, whew, fragrance central. So be warned about that. I think the setting spray might be like the one thing that I am not totally in love with. Ooh, I can taste that. Um, everything else is so 
so good. I love doing these kind of videos because I am all about mixing in affordable makeup with those luxury items. And I think sometimes the drugstore wins. Like sometimes you have items like that Maybelline lipstick that outperform items that you would pay, you know, $20, $30 for. So yay for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do. I upload Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. So I hope you come back and hang out with me and I hope you're having a good one, whatever you're doing. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.